What's up, guys? It's David coming at you from Organic Prize Books with the weekly release. It is uh, the 30th of May, and uh, you know, we're excited because tomorrow we have a whatnot. Let me show you that first before. So, this is going to be for tomorrow, the 31st of May. Uh, this is the books that we're going to have from the out of print. Ooh. So, we have Venom number one, two, and three, or just, yeah, well, in one, two, and three. Very cool. Punisher by Garth Ennis, and then Justice League of America Silver Age Omnibus Volume 2. So, remember, tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central Time. So check out, I don't know, whatever time you're you're in, but 8 Central. We're going to have a lot of fun. There's going to be dancing. There's going to be music. So join us. Have a good time. And let's take a look at this week's release. So as you see, nothing but hardcovers, which is really cool. Uh, we're going to go and start over here first. So we have The Good Asian uh, by uh, Image. Uh, it's a hardcover, so this is really cool. Here is the front, the spine, and the back. Uh, there is going to be a first look coming out of that one, but let me just show you real quick. What it has inside so you can see it looks really nice it looks like one, some of those noir books uh you know and if you've read this one or if you're interested in it uh, you know let me know in the comments below uh, what you want to see about it or what you know about it and if you find the interest the story interesting and i believe if jp's right uh omnibody is going to have a uh, first look on or a uh, overview on this one so keep an eye out for that very cool uh from dc we have the steel a celebration of 30 years hardcover Here's the front, spine, and the back. We did a bite size view on this one. And, uh, you know, let me show you underneath as well. Oh, oh, yeah. Very cool. Nothing on the back. And this is celebrating 30 years of Steel. If you don't know who Steel is, he basically is a guy. He's basically DC's Iron Man. Uh, you know, he decided to fight crime and make his own suit. And this covers a lot of, like, maybe his, his origin story. Uh, as well as a little bit of the 90s, as you see there, look at this Justice League, when when uh, Aquaman had a hook for hand, that was that was definitely in the 90s. Uh, and then later on, like some of the New 52, he also shows up there. Uh, and we got some different comics on here in, in his legacy. He fought Doomsday, if you didn't know that, that's actually pretty cool. And he's had different power-ups, I believe he had a suit made out of kryptonite at one point, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but if you know about Steel, let me know what you think about this and if you are happy to celebrate 30 years of Steel. And then we also got uh, from Marvel X-Force Volume 2. Uh, is it cool? Here's the front, spine, and the back. And underneath. And then this is the... Uh, so I've actually heard this is called the Rainbow X-Men because all the colors are different. Are the Yeah, they're all different titles. Yeah, actually, I'm going to show real quick. Actually, if he, okay. So we have some of them over here. They're all like different colored ones. So... Uh, X-Force is orange, and each of the titles has a different color, so that's actually pretty cool. If you uh, are following this X-Force, uh, let me know what you think about it. I know it has, uh, what's that, that, uh, that guy that had, like, pink hair that was really, like, emo for a while? He was, uh, big, he was big in, during the schism. Was it, it's not Gambit, right? No, 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 it's, um, that psychic guy that has oh, pink hair, this guy. I forgot his this name. This guy, yeah. I totally uh, forgot his name. I forgot it, too. But uh, yeah, so somebody would know. Yeah, somebody will know. So if you're, you know, if you're an X Force fan, let me know what you feel or how you like this, I guess, iteration of the X Force. Uh, next up, we have the Daredevil uh, Volume Two. So this is uh, the standard. No, no, standard right here, front, spine, and the back. And then we have the DM. If you didn't know who Daredevil is, this is gonna spoil it for you. It's Matt Murdock. Oh my God. Uh, Sorry, but you've had 50-something years to figure that out. If you didn't, I apologize. Too bad for you. Let's look underneath. Now, some of these... No, uh, yeah, we, we got some of these damaged. So if you ordered it, uh, we'll be sending out the good ones. If you ordered it later on, you might have to wait a little bit. So we apologize for that. But, you know, uh, you know, don't blame us. Blame... Uh, who, who is it? Penguin? Who sends it out in UPS? <laughs> so, yeah. Them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, numbered here in the bottom. Uh, nice quality pages as you can see so definitely that uh the you know early D daredevil and uh, check out the first look if you want to see more of this very cool all right and then let's check out the other dc title that we got which is captain marvel by kelly thompson volume one we got the standard here with just her face volume one and the spine and uh this is the dm which is the alex ross cover so cool oh so cool He's my, he's my goat. Now let's take a look underneath. And again, for this one, we did get these damage as well. Very cool. I like that. 
So this one is a damaged one. Uh, you know we're, we're waiting for the restock on that one, but if you, if you ordered it and you have to wait, I apologize. You know, again, not on us, not on us, guys. It's not an issue we have. It's just we, we get them damaged and we don't want to send them out to you like that, you know? Yeah, just from Omnidog said he'll be doing a review for this one for us. So stay nice. For that. Omnidog. This, this, uh, he said this is his, the best Captain Marvel uh, story of all time. That's what a lot of people say. Day Day. Very cool. Just, so if you are interested in reading about Captain Marvel, this is the one to read. Nice. You know, Captain Marvel gets some hate. But, uh, you know, I'm her. she's actually a pretty cool Marvel character, and uh, I'm actually excited to see what uh, Omnidog's, Omnidog's video. Shout out, oh, woo, 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 Omnidog. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a first look at this in our video, so check that out if you want to see more about it. Uh, let's go ahead and keep looking. And we also got uh, this book called Faithless. So this is a image by, or a, a Book by Boom Studios. Yes. Uh, we have the, this is the, just a regular hardcover as you see here. Uh, this one is actually for an order, so I cannot open it. But it's the same as the one that comes in the slipcase. Uh, the yeah, slip so case. they only sent us one slipcase for yeah. some reason, so, and there's no more in stock, so we may have to cancel this. Yeah. I'm not sure for those of you guys who order it, but we could be getting the, this version uh, next week. Yeah, now, should I show it, JP? It's kind of a dull theme. Should I show the inside of it? Uh, sure. Ah, you know, let's go for it. Now, just bear in mind, this has mature content from this point forward, so. Yeah, so you're watching with your kids, your wife, your oh! whatever. Uh, so this is careful. the front of it. I can understand why they put this in the slipcase. It's fine. And then the back, of course. Whoa. Oh, oh. Anyway, uh, if you saw, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a first look on this, but the first look is really short because this is a very adult book. It has a lot of... Uh, a lot of sexual themes as well as like religious symbol so like all of the painting that she does she uses her menstrual blood for it as you can see there this sounds like something jake would read yeah me <laughs> the brave and the boy yeah you listen listen i saw i saw more of jake than i wanted to and now he has to read these books that have more than we want to see yeah. <laughs> shout out to the brave and the boys uh check out their videos and they have a podcast too right yeah they have yeah. a podcast uh, they recently they, no, they did they did a live stream recently. Yes, they did their hundredth live stream. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, JP and I couldn't make it because we had my party to go to, because of my birthday, a and we had a nerf nerf yeah. fight. So that the was next fun. live stream they do. We'll be there. Hey, there you go. Count on it. So yeah, a lot of like adult, you know, religious things too. So up, oh, up. Oh. So check that out on our first look. Uh, but that's the weekly release for this week, the last week of May. Uh, you know, tomorrow is the 31st. We're going to have the whatnot. Then after that is June. So keep an eye out for that. Check, these guys, check this out at Organic Press Books, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.